And he got so deep he had no other choice but to finish it. So the big run with the decision. My Tucker go up 6 0 at 133. So back to 141 and Back at the lineup now for Cornell. And he gets a deep shot. And he's going to finish strong. Come up to his feet. He'll get two. And get the go behind. Look at the turnaround here by Columbia. So Columbia at one. We just finished up. Chance Tucker's win at 41. Now at 49. It's Andrew Garr. 7 and 8 on the season. Two time place winner at the Ohio High School State Championships. Finished third and fifth. Making the track out east to wrestle for an alliance. So Boffman. Looking for those first points. And you hear a lot about that in the sport of wrestling. It's, you know, you give up those first points of the match and the first point takedown is, a, is an important stat in wrestling. Is it how many times you're going to let up the scoreboard first? And for Cornell, they've been a, a great team over the years that, that has established that amongst themselves. Say, hey, let's attack first. Let's build off those first attack points. And that's what Boffin has been able to do for the, the most part of his career thus far. Look how very, he's just so physical on his feet. You kind of there's there's different types of of wrestlers in the neutral position where they use a lot of hand control, head position, whatever that may be in terms of establishing that first takedown. Boffman it, it uses a lot of arm tactic. If you see controlling the head, and he's using that arm for the distance, and that's what he does so well to get those first points. And he's setting up that shot, bouncing around here at the center. A minute to go here in the first period. Boffin. You can tell he's going to strike soon. You can feel it coming. And there's a shot, reshot reaction. Still no score. Big Red lead the total match points here. 6 0. Off to a great start here in the lightweights. Boffin want to keep, certainly wants to keep it going. Low ankle takeout, ankle pick. And he gets the two if he pops it up. And he will. Yes, sir. Two points for Boffin. Well, that low ankle pick, straight money from Boffin. There's the one escape with 22. Deep high leg single, low leg single on the opposite end. Boffin fighting it off. He's got a wizard. And nowhere to go out of this. 4-3 and smart smart wrestling by Boffin to stay in that position and not do a low percentage move to try to counter and 2-1 defer by Cornell and Columbia will take down so Mr. Boffin he is definitely working his way to another Cornell victory here today. The Ivy League opener between both teams. It's the Ivy League on ESPN. I'm Andy Belnowski. Thank you so much for joining us here this afternoon from Friedman Wrestling Center. It's been an exciting day. And if you're Cornell, came up on the short end of the stick in the first matchup of the afternoon, a 1 p.m. start against Lehigh, 1914. But certainly, how you make a loss right, you win. And Cornell on a good road so far. Buffett to the mat. Down with the pin. So 2-1, Buffett in control. And these are those tough spots in wrestling that no matter how long or you've wrestled in, in this sport, you get in these really tough stalemate positions that it's almost tough to score any points from. And Boffman trying to work to improve here, but nowhere to go. Under a minute now. He's got the rotting times to his advantage here in the second period. 
as you take a nice look at the scene here at Freeman Wrestling Center, home of the Cornell Big Red. State-of-the-art facility, one of the finest in all the country. Certainly was built over 10 years ago now. And I remember coming up here for the first time, but was a sports director at the time at WENY TV when I was down there, now at WETM in the Elmire Market. But I had a chance to interview Troy Nickerson after winning his first national championship back in the early part of that decade. And, you know, coming up here for that first time and seeing it in each section as the period gets winded out, as Boffman gets to riding time and the goal neutral. Same score for now. But uh, just coming up here and seeing this facility, just so incredible and dedicated to the entire sport of wrestling. And you go to a lot of schools, they, they still have a separate wrestling room, but not an entire center. And to come up here and see that, it was just really a thing of beauty here at Ithaca, New York. Shows the amount of, there's a deep shot by Boffin. Low ankle, Boffin trying to pull up. Go out the back and get two. And Boffman struggling. Scoop the leg. He'll get it if he scoops it. Fighting for position. Fighting. Pushing. Grinding. Will power personified. And still at a stalemate position. Nowhere to go. And yes, sir, stalemate. But see the amount of time, effort, the fundraising that Cornell does. You see the, the annual phone fundraisers that they do. The amount of time and effort spent on this sport is truly what it's all about. And that's why Cornell has risen up to one of the top programs in the nation year in, year out. And this year, as we talked about in the Lehigh match, an experience, really an experimental year with the lineup and a lot of guys out with Yanni Dakabahalas, you know, Max Dean pursuing Olympic, Olympic dreams. That Next year, with a full lineup, already Cordell is going to be a top contender for a national championship with the likes of the Penn States, the Iowas, and so many more. So this match going down to the final frame here. 30 seconds left. Running time cue to Boffman, so he'll win. Barring a miracle finish here for Columbia. As Boffman in control. As this thing winds down. And that will do it. Big win for Boffman. And Cornell is feeling pretty good at this point.